Ferguson never mm. achieved the level of success that Barcelona did. Barcelona in 09, 010, that kind of four year run that Guardiola had, it's the greatest club side ever. I don't think anyone would ever say the treble winning side, even though it's amazing for Man United fans. That wasn't the no, best no, side no, to ever no, come out of Europe. That wasn't, that wasn't a generational side. What that side achieved? won three in a row what, what and the Champions League. Four, four, and a lot of those players went on to win another. You were, you were knocking European it long 4-4-2 four, four, to, to Dwight York and all that. Nah. I, I'm talking about the philosophy of, of Johan Cruyff and getting Messi to play as a false nine, scoring 91 goals in the calendar yeah, Messi year. carried my man. He hasn't won a Champions League without Messi. Hello mate, how are you doing? Oh, what are you Good doing? To see you, my friend. How are you doing? <laughs> Take a seat. Thanks very much. Oh, what's happening? Yeah, I'm good, mate. FA Cup final. You ready? I'm gassed. Yeah, we've, we've, away. we've been here before. We've won a few trophies in the last few years. It's a rarity for you to be in a final, so you I should mean, be gassed. I mean, I mean, we've been in one in February. Yeah, and, yeah. And this one is huge. And I know City are going to be massive favourites, but yeah. like Jose Mourinho said, Sometimes football heritage is important. That is true. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I think it will count here at Wembley. For sure. Not one Manchester United player would get into the City starting 11. Three, two, one. How far off the table can I go with this, mate? <laughs> can I go a quarter off the table? I don't want to spare anything, but I'm going as far off humanly possible as that, okay? You're a very good team, but I disagree. Well, who gets in? I think Marcus Rashford could play for oh, City grow up, quite easily. Goodness. Mark Rashford could play for City quite easily. No, he'd, he'd get in the stadium. I'd give him a ticket. And you've got to remember, you, what you've got to remember, yeah, is that these players would be coached by Pep as well. And they would have yeah. been coached by Pep yeah, for yeah. the last three or four this years. Is, this is a one-off situation. So you've got to put that into the scenario. Jack Grealish plays on the left for us. I take him Jack every Grealish, day. Jack Grealish, you used like one to run him out of town Not about me. a year ago. Not me. Not 100 me. million down Not the drain. Me. No, that was, that was uh, pundits had no idea about Man, Man City fans love Jack Grealish. He's a far more intelligent footballer than Rashford. He's far more, his level is consistent. Now, a lot of people have said the numbers haven't been good. Rashford's numbers have been incredible this season, of course. That's before we get to Rafa Varane, Casemiro. Varane, you have a laugh. Um, Casemiro, he's got more Champions Leagues oh than your whole club. Yeah, that's great, that's in the past. Uh, that, guess, guess what, that was at a different club. That's not a Man United way you achieved got. that. Lissandro Martinez, did I mention him? Yeah, no way. Could, he could fight for a spot in your team. Yeah, he could Luke fight. Shaw I gets in your team. I can oh, fight for anything. I can fight Luke, for anything. I, Luke I'll Shaw plays his team. Express, you ain't got a left back. For anything. I can scrap for anything. What you ain't got mean? left back. Luke Shaw gets in your team. Uh, left back? No, not for me. Nathan Luke Shaw Ake. gets in your team. Nathan Ake is no better. No way. He is. He's not a left back. If he's been playing left back to Luke a higher Shaw, level. 100%. Luke, Luke Shaw, Nathan that's Ake the one that Luke Shaw to in the get. table. No, no, I'm not. Ah, uh, you need to move that now, you know. I'm moving it even further now. You said Luke Shaw. No, Luke Shaw definitely. You're obsessed with Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw. Are you on his payroll or something? What is it? You like don't know how good he is. Good it is, mate. Yeah, trust me. He's class, mate. Guardiola wouldn't take any of them for real. Of course he would. Honestly, not not with our current squad. Of course he would. I don't think maybe Rashford on the bench. Maybe even Bruno. Bruno gets in there. You know that kind of substitution where Bruno you're chasing the game and well. you, it's, it's not the first substitution at 60 minutes, it's the third substitution, 88 minutes, Rashford's that guy for City at the moment. That, that, no, that's fair enough chance. to him. Not he's a fantastic, he's a fantastic a player. Chance. Jack Grealish is operating in a, in a Jack scary Grealish is level of form. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. Marcus Rashford's in the team. 20 goals in the four out of the last I five seasons. I think Casemiro is the shout. I think I'm missing that because Calvin Phillips hasn't worked out. I think Casemiro as a rotation for Rodri. Casemiro was at City, you'd already have a Champions League. Yeah, maybe maybe we are lacking that leadership. It's a shame he's at, he's at United playing in the Europa League. It won't be next to you. <laughs> Manchester City will never be as big a club as Manchester United. Three, two, one. I think I'll, you have to say that. Let me go first because otherwise you're going to run out I'm, of town. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and say City are a bigger club than Man United now. I'm not saying it would be a five-year process, even a 10, 15-year, it would take 20, 30 years. But the only thing I'm saying is, uh, football is a long sport. We're gonna be hopefully alive for you know decades to come. And if City win multiple Champions Leagues, it took Alex Ferguson a long time to win his fo first trophy. You hadn't won a league for decades up to that, had you? Mm. So all I'm saying is history's there to be written. And the narrative of United being a massive club, it will always be there, of course, but things can change in the future. That's what I'm gonna say. I think you got a good point, especially like European Cups and things like that. Those things can change quickly. If City win the European Cup and then win a couple more, you start to look at things. But in terms of like that, those words again, that football heritage, and you got to take into consideration United's ownership possibly going to change, potentially have new owners who will get Manchester United challenging again. So those trophies should start rolling in again. Yep. And even when we've been pretty poor, which we have been over the last 10 years, mm. we've still managed to contribute you know, couple, couple trophies yeah, here and yeah, there. Yeah, League Cup finally. So Man United will continue to do that. But yeah. also, 
you look at the sheer number of, all right, fans is one thing, mm. and I think that matters. But also, like, just look how many people care about Man United. I don't think people care enough about Manchester City for them to be big enough. But that comes from winning a treble in 1999. That comes from sporting achievements. And there's an argument that you haven't had any you know, major sports achievements for the last six, seven years. You know, you haven't won a league in 10 years. Eventually that does erode away and eventually history does, you know, not on Forest won two European Cups, you know, decades ago. That is almost forgotten. We're you know? assuming though, United aren't going to win anything. I'm assuming that. And that's not going to yeah. happen. I, I don't and think we're win. assuming yeah. <laughs> City are going to continue to win everything. I, I can see it happening. And once Pep Guardiola does one, I think he'll be stay looking for a very, long very time. different. Why not? He could stay for 10 years total. Pep Guardiola would have to live for 100 years for him to make, <laughs> Man, him to make Man City bigger no, than I strongly Man disagree about that. No, 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 no. Pep Guardiola is a better manager than Sir Alex Ferguson was. Oh, Three. God. I'm going to be here all day. <laughs> I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. I think, he, I think he can get a team playing football better than Ferguson. I think Ferguson understood the psychology of management better. That's fair. And then what he achieved with the 99 season, what he achieved revolutionising three or four different United sides, 100%. But I think if you... If you, you Ferguson never achieved the level of success that Barcelona did. Barcelona in 09, 010, that kind of four-year run that Guardiola had, it's the greatest club side ever. I don't think anyone would ever say the treble winning side, even though it's amazing for Man United fans, and it's good for the Premier League era, that wasn't the... That wasn't the no, best no, side no, to ever no, come no, out of course. Europe. That wasn't. That wasn't it's a generational side. It's one of them. Is of course, it? it's a generational is it, side. Is it the? Do you AC believe Milan what you just said? I don't think it is. It's not a generational you, side. It's a, if what that it side achieves, won three in a row what, what and the Champions League, four, four, and a lot of those players went on to win another. You were, you were knocking European it long four four two to Dwight York and all that. Nah, I, I'm talking about the philosophy of, of Johan Cruyff and getting Messi to play as a false nine, scoring 91 goals in a calendar year. Messi carried my man. He hasn't won a Champions League without Messi. Yeah, but you know, Ferguson, Ferguson did it in a couple of couple of eras, and yeah. we want to talk. We can talk about Man United all day long, and what he achieved there, thirteen league titles. But he's the last man to win anything in Scotland that mm. isn't a Celtic or Rangers manager. He's the last man to beat Real Madrid in a European final. He's done so many different things before he even got to Manchester United, mm. and I think you have to give him credit for that. Thirteen league titles goes without saying. Yeah. He could have done more in Europe, and I think that's probably where Pep will will have the advantage on him. Yeah. But also, Pep's gone into a Barcelona side that was blessed with Messi and Xavi, Iniesta and all that. He's gone to Bayern Munich in a one-team one league. Played, don't you? You Bayern have Munich in a one-team league. He hasn't had to, you know, do it <laughs> yeah. where he's had to struggle. Fergie, yeah, Fergie, Fergie built was spending things all the time. 8 million on Andy Cole. 8 million back then is like 100 mil now. You know, no, Fergie, Andy Cole Ferguson was a British transfer so record. Much money but at the time, Blackburn spent more than us. On Ferdinand, 30 million on Van Persie when he needed Blackburn it. Blackburn spent more than us. He was spending a lot of money. Left Chelsea was Both spending more than us. Money. Newcastle was spending more than us. The big, the big reality for this, for this question in particular, Alex Ferguson, he lost half the Champions League finals that he ever played, and both of them were against Guardiola. And he, got, he didn't just lose. I'd argue against Messi. Well, against Guardiola, got Messi playing his best football ever. Messi's never been at the same level since Guardiola left Barcelona. That's whoa, the truth whoa, whoa, as well. Whoa, yeah. he, hasn't, he hasn't. Has he ever been better since? Tell me yeah. the truth. At Wembley, when he destroyed you, that's for I me the best disagree with what just said all there time. Well. But all I'm saying is, you know, Ferguson lost two finals to Guardiola. He dominated the Champions League finals. He played his way. Ferguson scraped on pens against Chelsea in Moscow, and he he, he fluked it against Bayern Munich. Let's be real. He fluked yes, it in '99. There's a difference Bayern between fl look. We never when Aguero scored that goal against QPR, you know who he we beat in '99 along the way to that Champions League. Yeah, decent, decent. Who? Yeah, Juventus. Bayern Munich and uh, yeah, yeah. Bayern Munich and Barcelona were in our group. Yeah, yeah. Let's get that. I'm right. talking about the final. And then we itself. played Bayern Munich yeah, in, the, in, in the, the final. Run. Yeah, but the and run, along okay, the way, we beat a Juventus games. team with Zidane yeah. and all these guys in yeah. there. Everyone says Zidane's the greatest player ever. Guess what? Keenan Scholes dumped That's him out of the Champions League. But let's just talk about the finals that Ferguson and then lost. We had Juventus, Inter Milan. But can you talk about the finals that Ferguson lost? Yeah, against Barcelona. Yeah. But those two teams. And that one of those teams won the Champions League the year before. Yeah. So, you know, they still had the trophy in the bag. I think they he got schooled by Guardiola. The That's the and issue for this argument. He got completely schooled by Guardiola. I mean, you ask any Man United uh, player from We lost from those Rome, finals badly. From Wembley. Especially the Wembley one. It's bad. But I'd argue Messi more than Pep. As we've seen at City, he ain't done it since. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Manchester United will be City's biggest title challengers next season. Ooh. Three... Two, one. I don't. Oh, I cannot. Oh, it's possible. <laughs> That's on the line. It's possible. It's a goal line clearance. I'm not strongly agreeing. 
till I see what happens in the summer, who our owners are. You know, that what is the issue spend. in itself. There's a possibility at the moment the Glazers stay in. That yeah, like, gives exactly. me nightmares. Because exactly. if that happens, there's probably no chance we challenge for yeah, a new yeah. title. Probably ever again. Yeah. If they leave, depending on who the new owners are, you're looking at a different beast. You also look at Ten Hag. If he's given some finances in the summer, he's already spent quite well. Yeah, it was last summer. Didn't he? He got a load of money no, no, last that's what I mean. He's yeah, already yeah. spent quite well. You add some more. You're not dealing with the likes of Valt Vegas up front. You know, you've got a few more midfielders in <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. We've got a possibility to challenge. And if Arsenal can challenge, having finished fifth, fifth, that's true. eighth, yeah. then you, you never know. But you know, to win the league ahead of City, you can't have one team challenging. That's why you need. Three teams, yeah, Liverpool two, three. Doing well, you Chelsea. need Liverpool to beat City at one point, yeah, yeah. Arsenal to beat City at one Spurs point. Spurs, maybe. Because you've lost four games this season, right? Yeah. And you're still going to win the league. You need to be losing about five, six. So yeah, you need, seven, yeah. yeah. You need Loaders. those four plus two defeats against your title challenges. Yeah. Arsenal couldn't do it. If Arsenal beat you like twice or once, they couldn't do it. Different story. They, they do couldn't it. do it. So we need three teams challenging. And if United are one of them, we could do it. Maybe. I think United need seven or eight players to even get close to City. You know, seven or, or eight players. I think it's less than world that, class but We quality. do need the right investment before we can challenge. Yeah. yeah. But I, you know what it is? Who? Are, if if it's not United, I don't see Arsenal challenging again. That's the thing. Yeah. I, I see Liverpool. Liverpool possibly. I think Liverpool but for me. They have they're, to make. They're three or four away from being where they were. They're a further years away ago. from us, you know. Not for me. Not for me. Manchester City will win the Champions League before United win their next Premier League title. Three, two, one. I don't even know where to move this. Could it could happen in like a week. It could happen in a couple of weeks, yeah. Um, I'm only lightly agree while you decide, just because I think there's a massive jinx over the club with the Champions League. <laughs> and I do, you, look at Napoli in that other side of the draw, yeah? They're in unbelievable form. They had both their star players back fully fit. And they still couldn't get past AC Milan with the kind of the weight of the Champions League, the heritage. And being a City fan, as much as I think we've got the quality for the last, even for the last five years consistently, people have said, you're one of the favourites to win it. You should be winning it. I can't disagree with that with the money we've spent, of course. But there's, there's, a, there's a weird hoodoo around the club. There's a weird weight that other clubs, even Chelsea had that expectancy of getting to the Champions League final, playing ugly and still winning it. And City have got a massive hurdle to overcome that. It feels like an England fan. You know, when an England, hmm. you know, England squad goes to any World Cup where we feel that we're favourites, we bottle it a little bit. And that European trophy for City, it's a hard thing to sort of become a new also, European it's a champion. competition is difficult. I remember when I was younger, early 90s, when we started winning things again, we got knocked out to Monaco, Dortmund, like by a Leverkusen in 2000, something when the final was at Hamburg. Like, I know that was after, but just before Fergie won it, we went out against teams that we shouldn't have gone out to. So I've, you know, you kind of see that a lot. It's because it's a cup competition. Yeah, Anything can happen games. in those games along the way. Yeah. So I'm disagreeing more out of hope than expectation. Yeah. I, I have to put, I have to back that eventually, like, because eventually the, the money and the quality of signings that we made, it's not just about money, as we know, with Chelsea, for example. Look, within a couple of years, we won the Premier League. You know, that, that the quality that we showed against Man United in the FA Cup semi-final in 2011, yeah, that was, the, the weight of that quality got us over the line. And you have to say somewhere along the line, Erling Haaland scoring 50 goals, it has to count to something. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. has to somewhere. That. You know, it did for so many other strikers, yeah. so hopefully it does for And for also, us. realistically, he's like more closer to winning the Champions League than we are the Prem at the moment. I think at the moment. Yeah. But a good summer. Who yeah. knows? This Manchester City side, is the best side in Premier League history. Three, two, one. Ooh, we're close yeah. then. Yeah, we're a lot closer. Um, they could go down, is it though? Yeah. Well, not it, one of. Yeah. They could potentially get near there. But at the moment, until you have all the marbles. Yeah, you need the trophies. Um, I think the Centurion season is, is better than this current season, uh, this current side this season. I think they've also been better City teams in the fact that in terms of the football that you play, yep. in terms of, like, you know when you went up against that Liverpool team? Yeah. That was more impressive than going up against this Arsenal team. Definitely. Because everyone's Definitely. going, Arsenal going to crumble. Yeah. Like, Arsenal played yep. against City, lost yep. every single time. Yeah. Against Liverpool, they'd, you know, you lost some of those games, you won some of those games. It was a more even battle, and maybe that was more impressive. And this, but then, if this team gets all three trophies, or even maybe does a double, yeah, the double. Because then incredible. it's gone three in a row. Yeah, 100%. And three in a row is important. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, 
So it could go down as one of the greatest, but until you get that European Cup, you can't chat no, to 99 no. United yeah. and 08 United. I, I, all I can say though, when I don't look at the cups that we haven't won in terms of the European Cup, is, is just the way we play football. I think if you get 100 points in the Premier League season, the balance, the pace, David Silva, Fernandinho, for me that was a lot more well-rounded, even company was in that side, a bit more leadership at the moment. Obviously City could go on to win a treble this also, season. Also, like, there was like a couple months where City were getting questioned when they were trying to find their feet. I know yeah. they have found their feet now, yeah. but it hasn't been the free-flowing City throughout the season. Although you can say they're not always that way at the start. You know, they're always no, it's, at the start I slowly. I, I can't think of a single team in Premier League history that's been completely, I mean, even the Invincible side, you know, they didn't win anything in the they Cups. They drew about 20 games. They drew a load of games. So I can't think of a side from begin from August to May. United used to start slowly as well. It's hard. It's hard. You've got to finish strong. Um, but if the City side finish with a treble, they're right up there with how we play then the game. They're, then they're in the top three teams. I'll take that. Then they're in the top three teams with 99 and 08. Where they are, I don't know. But I agree with that one, definitely. We'll, we'll discuss that at the end of the season. <laughs> Winning the FA Cup is no longer a major achievement for a so-called big six club. Yeah, that's whoever wrote that question. I'm glad you said that, you know. Yeah. yeah. I love the FA Cup more than the Champions League almost in terms mm. of no, but in terms of what it means but to I me do love emotionally. The FA Cup. Yeah, the FA Cup. It's, it's the oldest cup competition of its type of its type in Europe. The FA Cup's incredible. Mm. I love it. I've loved it since I was a kid. I remember the 94 Cup final, 96 Cup finals. Like those are some of my earliest footballing memories. The FA Cup's still important. Yes, yeah, so it's me. more important than the League Cup, I think. Not everyone can win the Champions League. I think seeing, you know, I know Watford got to the final a few years ago and lost 6 0 to us, but you know, that's a real day out for a, for a football club. Do you know what I mean? It's, um, it's major. Both FA Cup semi finals should not be played at Wembley. Three, two, one. Old Trafford and Villa Park were used a lot in my time. I've gone to Old uh, Villa Park for a few semi finals mm. over the years. You think of gigs against Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. Um, we beat Watford there once, 4 1. Like, there's just loads, of Arsenal 1-0. Um, yeah, just bring them back there. It makes Wembley more special. I think the big thing is is fan, you know, the money that fans spend on tickets, especially City. We're talking about over 20 appearances in the last 10 years at Wembley. You know, this is serious money for people. And especially, you know, I don't want to get political, but the kind of, you know, the cost of living crisis that we, a lot of people are facing. You can't justify going to a semi-final at Wembley yeah, train, and then expect, if you win, train prices expect to go back again. And everything. Who goes to the semi-final without the dream of going to the final? So you end up having to, you know, it becomes a double ticket, a double sort of cost of a ticket. So it's absolutely ridiculous that it ever got put there and it was political and it was financial and it was, and I think, you know, awful. Not only for those reasons, for the, just make the cup better. Yeah, definitely. Manchester United will win the FA Cup this season. Three, two, one. <laughs> Oh, I'm nervous, you know. I don't want to spell it. I'm just going to put it. Just wait. You've already done that, Joe. Just, just, just come on. <laughs> well, on that side of the table. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I think obviously a cup final. Anyone, you know, we lost to Wigan. So what can I say? But if we play our way. We've already put six past you at the Etihad earlier this season. We were, we've already we'll beat you this season. Yeah, congrats on that. It was a big win for you lot in your season. But we're talking about bigger things for us. A, a treble is on the horizon. You know, There's you're a lot still of pressure on United four. as well, I suppose, because. The players are going to be, especially if you're on, you know, if there's one game after that which could possibly make you treble winners, the United players will know they can't allow that to happen. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that will bring something out of them. It's going to be a weird game. It's going to be a yeah. different game. There's never been a Manchester derby in a cup final. It's a one-off. And again, don't have to beat them. It could just go extra time, penalties, penalties. you know. It, already it, done it. It's, yeah. It could be done. So, I don't know, I've got a good i got a good feeling, you know. So Manchester City will win the treble this season. Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't strongly disagree, you know, because it could happen. But there's going to come a load of pressure on Manchester City doing the treble. Mm. You know, it's going to start getting talked yeah, yeah, about more. Yeah, yeah. More than when United were possibly going to win it. Yeah. Because we were still in a title race till the last day of the season with Arsenal. You know, we didn't even know if we were going to win the league. Now the league's kind of sewn up. You're already in a cup final. Yeah. You're, three, you're two games away from potentially doing it and yeah. the talk's going to ramp up. Yeah. The pressure's going to ramp up. And we've seen in the past, in 08, we could have done it. Mm. We lose against Portsmouth in the FA Cup because yeah. Kushak gets sent off at yeah. Old Trafford. It's yeah. like, 
Just anything can happen, yeah. a red card, something. Yeah. That's but, why I strongly disagree. I think the weight of football history is on is against us. You were amazing to do it in 1999. You can't give me a side before in 100 years of football history in this country of yeah, anyone who's ever done I know it. Barca have done and then, it. But. And, yeah, but, but at that point, Barca had never, no one in Spain had ever done it up to Guardiola. Yeah. He did it, what, in 2008 or that kind of, or 2009, that kind of period of time. So there's 100 years of Spanish football history that it, it, we'd never seen it in Spain before as well. So the weight is, is against us in terms of how hard it is to do. Uh, and that's why I strongly disagree. Now, if it was purely based on footballing ability, I, I'd, I'd move the glass here because Haaland, Ruben Diaz, Rodri, we have a spine of a side that could win a treble. I'm sorry, we do. We have, we have a world-class football no, side. <laughs> Especially when you look at the teams you're potentially going to come up against, you know. But when a quarter-final gets Bayern Munich, Haaland misses a penalty. These are small moments. We did very well to beat Bayern Munich. But in the quarter-final, we're already seeing Haaland miss a penalty. There's a couple of niggly moments against Arsenal. We obviously beat Arsenal, but those get magnified in a when You know, again, you talk about the sending off of Kushak, for example. You know, Edison's got a mistaken him. Carl Walker has got a red card in him for sure. So that's why I just I disagree because I think it's just it's the odds are against you, aren't they? Mm. Good to right. see you, mate. Nice one. I'm yeah. out of sip because I'm uh, I've just been bantering you too much. Yeah, I'm no, sip no, this no. Coke I think yet. you might need to. But finals coming up. Um, I would wish you luck, but yeah. I don't. I What's don't the score know, prediction? Manchester United to win two one. I strongly disagree. With that. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll see you later. You think your team that you played with can be better than the team that I played with? Yeah. That can't happen. Well, Is this England? Anyone you played with? Oh, oh, yeah. oh fuck! I've definitely won it. No, I don't think. I've got Shearer. I've got the lot. You ain't got Shearer, have you? No, but I've got Salah. How would you get him? Fiorentina. Firenze. <laughs> <laughs>